Ta'ala. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, you're all doing well and welcome back to our um, weekly Kahoot quiz competition. Um, so far, I don't see any uh, <clears throat> players who have joined at Kahoot.it. So in order to <clears throat> play the game, aside from joining us on Zoom to view the questions, you need to have another device uh, and join on Kahooted. Uh, dot it and we need at least three players to start the game inshallah so far we have two we have ala zidani and uh, uh, muhammad zidani and we have zahra we have three players um, with whom we can start the game inshallah <clears throat> just a gentle reminder uh, about the game rules number one you need to enter at kahoot dot it with your first and last name um, and the game pin number is 7632101. I repeat, uh, the game pin number is 7632101. You can uh, view the questions uh, either on our Facebook page, uh, the Facebook page of Muslim Association of Hamilton, or you can view them on our YouTube channel. Uh, or you can uh, join us on uh, the Zoom meeting that has just started. Um, and the meeting uh, ID number is 989-773-09916. I repeat, uh, Zoom meeting ID uh, number 989-773-09916. Nine one six, and that is for viewing the questions. Inshallah, Taala. Remember also, the faster you answer or you submit your um, uh, answers, the higher, of course, if the the answer is correct, uh, the higher your score will be. Inshallah, Taala. So, <clears throat> um, I think we have five uh, players right now, and uh, we can definitely start the. Uh, the game in okay so uh bismillah we start <clears throat> okay one and we start first question which companion of the prophet muhammad was martyred on the 10th day of month of muharram one hijri was it his cousin ali ibn abi talib his grandson hussein his uncle Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, his best friend Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. Again, the question is, <clears throat> which companion of the Prophet Muhammad was martyred? MashaAllah, here we go. <clears throat> Everyone got it right. <clears throat> so the companion of the Prophet Muhammad was martyred on the 10th day of Muharram, year 61 after Hijra, was his grandson al Hussein, uh, the daughter, uh, I mean the son of uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib and by the way uh, our fasting of Ashura has nothing to do with the martyrdom of uh, Al Hussein. may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him and accept, it, uh, accept him as martyr uh, <coughs> okay inshallah ta'ala we see the standing Zahra is on top uh, seems that she was the fastest to answer the question then uh, Muhammad Zidani and then Nada and Ala as the Danny. And then uh, our fifth player, Y, which I don't know who that is. Okay, next question. Ashura is the term that refers to the 10th day of Ramadan, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram, or Rajab. Again, Ashura is a term which refers to the 10th day of this month. What month is that? Ramadan, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram, or Rajab. MashaAllah, very good. All five players got it correct. The correct answer is Muharram. So the 10th day of the month of Muharram, uh, which uh, is falling uh, this year on Saturday, uh, 29th of August, which is tomorrow. <coughs> it is the 10th of Muharram. That is uh, uh, the term used for referring to the 10th. And by the way, Ash. 
Ra comes from the word Ashara, and Ashara means 10. Uh, but Ashura, whenever the term Ashura is used, it's, it usually refers to, to the 10th of Muharram. Zahra is still holding on top, and then Muhammad second. And uh, I see that uh, uh, Allah Zidani moved to the third place, mashallah. Okay. Question number three, one of the main digestive enzymes in our digestive system um, breaks down the protein in smaller peptides. What is it? Is it lactase, erypsin, trypsin, or pepsin? Which enzyme uh, that, that breaks down the protein into smaller uh, peptides. The correct answer is pepsin. That's correct. Uh, it is one of the main digestive enzymes in our digestive systems. Um, I see that one person uh, picked uh, trypsin or trypsin. Uh, so it looks like that we have two more players that have just joined. Uh, so we have seven players now. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Muhammad now. Nada uh, uh, is Danny uh, and Zahra <coughs> uh, in the fourth and fifth place, inshallah. Okay, our next question. Question number four. With a depth of 7,686, this is the deep sea on Earth, the Caribbean Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, or the Red Sea, or the Black Sea. So the question basically is, which sea is the deepest sea on Earth? It's one answer only, by the way, not multiple answers. The Caribbean Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, or the Black Sea. Um, so people will split, and the correct answer is the Caribbean Sea. The depth of the uh, Caribbean Sea is 7,686 meters. That's almost 8 kilometers. And to have an idea, um, 8 kilometers um, is basically almost uh, the distance between the east and the west part of the mountain. That's quite deep. Zahra moved up uh, to the second place. And as Danny dropped uh, to the third, and Nada Zidani is still holding to the fifth place. Next question, true or false? The body of Pharaoh floated on surface of the sea and he was buried in Egypt. Question again, true or false? Be careful because sometimes these questions are very tricky. The body of Pharaoh or Pharaoh floated on the surface of the Red Sea and he was buried in Egypt. Um, guess what? Only one person got the right answer. That's very interesting. Um, do you know why? Because the trick was the question uh, or this sentence at the end says that he was buried in Egypt. Uh, he was never buried. He was, his body was mummified. Um, yes, the body of Firan floated on the surface of the Red Sea. That's true. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved his body uh, so that he, uh, subhanAllah, um, it, it remains as, as a lesson, an example for humanity until the day of judgment. But he is not buried. His body is mummified. And if you go to Egypt, you can see the mummified body of Pharaoh, who claimed to be God. <clears throat> I don't know who is this... Um, secret person why uh, but he or she is on top right now and um, <clears throat> i think uh, that's the only person who got it right 
OK, our next question, question number six. When we compare this your two lungs, your right lung is bigger, your left lung is bigger. Both lungs are of the same size or the size of the lung depends on your gender. Which statement is true or which statement is correct? When we compare the size of your two lungs, is it the right lung is bigger? The correct answer is that your left lung is bigger. And that is so that uh, it makes space for the heart. Okay. Why is still holding to the top? And Mohammed and uh, Zahra are in the second and third place. Okay, question number seven. This prophet's name is mentioned the most in the Holy Quran, 136 mm -hmm. times. Who is it? Ibrahim, Yaqub or Jacob, Nuh or Noah, Musa or Moses, as it, he is called in English. Which prophet's name is mentioned the most in the Holy Quran, 136 times? Ibrahim, Yaqub, Nuh or Musa, alayhim salam. Of course, the answer is one correct answer. MashaAllah, very good. Everyone got it right. The answer is Musa. Musa alayhi salam. <clears throat> By the way, just a piece of information. Uh, Musa is, is uh, not um, a, a, a name uh, in Hebrew. Uh, it is actually an Egyptian, an ancient Egyptian name. Uh, and subhanAllah, the Quran. Uh, is the book that preserved that original name of Musa alayhi salam or uh, Musa or Mushe, uh, which means basically uh, water, Mu means water and Se or She means a tree uh, or the branch of a tree. And that's simply uh, the name that the, um, The, uh, the pharaohs have given Musa alayhi salam because he, he was uh, picked up uh, from the river in the water uh, or in the, the water in the river um, and the basket uh, in, in which he was, it was caught uh, to the branch of a tree. Next question, question eight. At the age of 21, this one-legged cancer patient ran 3,339 miles across Canada in 143 days to raise money and awareness about cancer. Who is it? Wayne Gretzky, Celine Dion, Terry Fox, or Jamal Moray? At the age of 21, this one-legged cancer patient ran over 3,000 miles across Canada in 143 days to raise money and awareness about cancer. Who is it? Wayne Gretzky, Celine Dion, or Terry Fox? The correct answer is Terry Fox. And we have, it seems that uh, people were joining late. Um, so please remember to join just around 7, 7.05 for next week because we will start uh, right at 7, 10 p.m. inshallah. So it seems that more people joined now. Okay, uh, Y is still on top, and then Zahra, and then uh, Mohammed Zidani. And, uh, the marks are uh, pretty close. Akram Alush has the highest answer streak of three. Okay, next question, question number nine. The planet that is popular or known as star or the evening star, what planet is that? Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, or Mars? Which planet is popular known as the morning or the evening star? Because it glows like a star. If you look at the horizon, is that Jupiter or Mars? <clears throat> Correct answer is Venus. Venus is the um, 
planet that is known as the star or the morning or the evening star. So we see that only four people got it right and um, two people chose Jupiter and three chose Mars. Zahra moved to the top now and Y dropped to the second place. Third, fourth, and fifth is still the same. Zahra has the highest streak, or she has a streak of three correct answers. Okay, next question. True or false? Giant pandas are considered a type of bear. True or false? Giant pandas are considered a type of bear. The answer is true. The correct answer is true. Yes, giant pandas or pandies are considered a type of bear. A type of bear, and that is the correct answer. Okay, let's see our standing now. Uh, y dropped to the fourth place, and Ala Zidani moved to the um, the second place. So Zahra is still holding it to the top. And remember, this is our last question, question number 11. And things could change drastically. So even Nada can become first if uh, the other four make a mistake in the question. Um, so it's still wide open to all the five players. Marwa Alush has a streak with four correct answers, mashallah. Okay, our next question, and which is the final question of the day. Somo, a wrestling where one tries to force his opponent out of the circular ring is the national sport of what country? So the question is, Somo is the national sport of which country? China, Japan, USA, South Korea. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like more play, more people have joined, um, which is great. And answers, looks like there's 11 people. Okay, so the correct answer is Japan. Somo is the national sports of Japan. Um, four chose China and two chose South Korea. And it's good enough that um, nobody chose USA because um, SOMO is not popular at all uh, in, um, in the United States of America. Okay, so I guess um, let's see our standing now. So Nada Azadani is third place. Muhammad Azadani is second. And first place goes to, I believe, Zahra. That's my feeling, yes. Zahra is the first place winner. Seven out of 11. And she scored 6,164. And uh, second place goes to Muhammad Azadani. He scored um, 5,936. I mean, 63, and uh, third place goes to uh, Nada Azadani, 5,813. Let's see this one more time, inshallah ta'ala. And uh, so third place winner is Nada, 5813. Second place, Muhammad Azadani, 5963. And the first place winner, once again, is Zahra. I don't have her last name. Uh, so congratulations to all the winners and thank you for everyone uh, for your participation. Um, and uh, hope to see everyone inshallah and more people next Friday at the same time. And do not forget to fast the day of Ashura tomorrow, the 10th of Muharram. And remember the reward uh, 
the Prophet ﷺ spoke about the fast in the day of Ashura because that's the day in which Allah ﷻ saved Musa السلام, and his followers and uh, from Fir'aun and his soldiers and Fir'aun and soldiers, uh, you know, drowned. And Musa ﷺ fasted the day of Ashura to show his thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you may fast inshallah ta'ala tomorrow. And if you add uh, the 11th of Muharram to it, that will be um, better and closer to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inshallah. Thank you very much everyone. Uh, and hope uh, you have enjoy, uh, enjoyed this uh, competition. See you next week inshallah at 7 p.m. Assalamu alaikum wa